We've got some new developments as lawmakers seek more answers about why the IRS targeted conservatives and other groups seeking tax-exempt status. So less than 48 hours from now, we're going to hear for the first time from some of the key players in this scandal, the people who worked at the tax agency in Cincinnati, where all of this outrage began across the country. So the head of the committee that looked into this controversy has just announced that three new witnesses are going to appear before Congress at that hearing on Thursday, and he joins us now. Republican Congressman Darrell Issa of California is the chairman of the House Oversight and Government Committee. Congressman, welcome. Good to have you back again. Well, thank you, Martha, and thank you for covering this upcoming hearing. You know, we, although we've received only 1% of the documents we've requested from the IRS, we've interviewed over 12 witnesses, and we're going to have a smattering of those on Thursday so people can begin to understand that which we know for sure is true. And most importantly, that this was not isolated to Cincinnati, but in fact went to Washington and then went up the chain from there. Now, as I understand it, one of the people that will be testifying is Elizabeth Hoffaker. Uh, she worked in that Cincinnati office. In fact, she was the person, one of two people, who were tasked with a big pile of applications for tax exempt status from Tea Party groups and conservative groups. And they said, you know, you need to go through these. She claims that she and her colleague were, were dumped on, were, were made into the fall guy in this, and that they got their orders directly from Washington. Will she testify to that tomorrow on, in the hearing? Yes, she will. She's already testified in a, a transcribed interview to just exactly that, that uh, although she bears some responsibility maybe for not being a whistleblower, that in fact she was taking her orders from Washington. She names names. And in the case of Carter Hull, uh, who was in Washington, he names names above him, including Lois Lerner. All right, so is Carter Hull uh, going to testify at this hearing as well? Because his name was on your list, was it not? It is, and he will. Uh, this, the expectation is that although we cannot reach conclusions as early in an investigation, what we will know is stop looking at Cincinnati alone, stop looking just at the first level in Washington, and look to the people that are, in fact, being pointed at. As you know, the IRS is an agency in crisis. We've had multiple hearings on multiple areas of wrongdoing and two witnesses taking the fifth, which is extremely unusual. You know, the president uh, came out when all of this started to erupt and said he was very disturbed by it. He said that, you know, under no circumstances should we be screening in this way. Uh, what, what has the White House been doing about this issue? Polls tell us this is one of the most important issues on people's minds right now. Well, the White House sent Danny Werfel, the former head of Office of Management and Budget, to take over that uh, agency. We're working with the new commissioner, acting commissioner, and we hope to get full cooperation in fixing this agency. Uh, as of right now, uh, our biggest obstruction is, of course, a ranking member, Mr. Cummings, who keeps saying that we know everything we need to know and it's over. And then when corrected, he takes a little while and then he comes back again saying there's nothing there there. Our second panel, Martha, is important. And I think this is the one that you mentioned when you said three. Russell George, the IG, and two of his lead people, his general counsel and one of his investigators, are going to answer the allegations from ranking member Cummings that somehow progressive groups were targeted. He's going to, I believe, dispel that in no uncertain terms, that he ran a nonpartisan investigation, and what he found was the, the holding back of these hundreds of applications by conservative groups and not by progressive groups. Now, that's interesting because he was criticized, Russell George, the inspector general, for leaving out the fact that progressives were also targeted in these cases. But you say that he will testify that that was not true. Absolutely. And, and I think, Martha, I'm going to use the word targeting very carefully. If you and I do a Google search and information comes up and we just grab one file and we go work on it, that's the one we targeted. That's the one we went after. There may have been groups that came up in searches, database searches. But no groups, as far as we've got any evidence at all on, were ever withheld for weeks, months, or years the way the, the Tea Party groups were. And that's really, when we use the term targeting, we're not talking about a name coming up in a search. We're talking about unreasonable delay, as we saw with Tea Party groups for as much as 27 months. Yeah. 
Well, we know we didn't see those kind of complaints uh, from the other people who were applying exactly. on, on the other side of the fence. So uh, we'll be watching. Daryl Issa, Congressman, thank you very much. Good to see you as always. Thank you. Good luck on the berth. <laughs> thank you.